So I woke up so early so because I, I don't want to miss them making the chapati. I wanted to see the whole process of making uh, chapati. Let's go ahead and celebrate the chapati. The chapati is a staple layered flatbread in East African and Indian households. Okay, let's go. After mixing the dough with salt, sugar, oil, and water and allowing it to rest, we recommend two hours, but at least one hour is your choice. This is to make the dough easier to stretch. So you keep kneading the dough. You can add flour if needed. That is why you see the flour beside her until the dough becomes non-sticky. Here are my dadas here. It's Auntie Asha. <laughs> here we're gonna add two to three tablespoons of oil and continue kneading until the oil mixes well and the dough is soft. Look at the kneading of the dough. I'll put the importance of kneading the dough on the screen below. The secret, the dough needs to be soft, so that's why more oil is needed. And also remember, the dough was covered and allowed to rest at least for two hours at room temperature. This makes it easier to roll into a thin circle and shape without pulling back. Dust flour on a flat place and take some of the dough, dip it in some of the flour, and then start rolling with a rolling pin to a circular shape. Next, brush oil on top of the dough, then divide the dough into equal pieces. Then roll it inward to form a shape-like rope or a snail-like shape. Then create a coil-like shape and press down. Um, I'm just gonna let you watch the technique. It's really neat. Let's watch. Let's heat up the pan. So do you remember the coil like shape dough that we made? You start rolling each of them to form a circular shape because we are ready to fry some chapati. The key thing is to make sure that you got a hot pan. You can see that she's waiting patiently to get that pan very hot. Then you place the rolled out circular chapati and fry each side with a little oil until it's golden brown on medium heat. And you got yourself a soft layered chapati.
We are not playing. This is a soft layered chapati. Who wants some chapati today? I might be biased, but this looks good. You know the rule, first come, first served. One of the important things to do is when the chapati is ready, transfer the chapati to a plate or a hot pot and cover with a kitchen towel. This will keep them soft. The chapati makes a tasty breakfast with tea and can also be served with stews and other meals throughout the day. So here is our soft layered chapati. It is said that chapati is not that difficult to prepare, but let me tell you, one needs practice in order to get it right. All I know is I love some chapati. Listen, when I go visit my mom, you best believe that I ask her to make me some chapati. Listen, you guys, I am happy here eating my chapati with my family. I like my chapati with just tea in the morning. I dip it in my tea and I am good to go. Do not disturb me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Ah, ya no. Maraba, me da la salama. Me da la salama, me da la salama.